Welcome to this video review. Uh, in this video I will talk about and show all the features of the Steiner binoculars named Observer. So Observer 10 by 42. These are entry-level hunting binoculars made by Steiner. And I will go through all the features and then at the end, like I do always, I will do a short summary of all the pluses and minuses. So, as you probably know, Steiner is a company based in Germany, in Bavaria, Beirut, and they, they've been producing binoculars since uh, 1947, so more than 70 years. Uh, I think that uh, recently they became the biggest manufacturer of binoculars in Germany, uh, especially with all their series which are more affordable, like this observers, which are sold in really huge numbers. If I go through the hunting range, they currently offer three different uh, types of binoculars, or I would say three tiers of binoculars. So first is the entry level, around 300 euros, and these are the observers, which I will talk about uh, them today. Then they have uh, in mid-class, they have Ranger Extreme, around 700 euros, uh, 700 euros price range. And then above 1,200 euros, they have the Night Hunter. So what do you get and what are the differences between those classes so if i go through it with uh, what are the differences compared to let's say the ranger which are, are one step uh, higher so first of all the eye cups are different so steiners they're famous for their winged eye cups but on the entry level you're not getting this normally uh click lock system uh, a special system where you just um, push in the carrying strap is also not present on this uh, pair of binoculars. The field of view is a little bit uh, worse and the coatings are a little bit different. Also the materials used are more basic and the temperature range in which the binoculars are working or how to say that they guarantee that they will work is a little bit narrower. That means from 15 degrees minus and plus 55 degrees uh, Celsius compared to rangers which work from minus 20 to plus 80 degrees Celsius but still and still it's normal it's uh, what you pay is what you get and not everybody needs a medium class uh, or, or high class binoculars especially if they don't use them that often and this is the reason why the observer even though it lacks a couple of features compared to Ranger, is still a really good purchase because no one, not everyone needs to pay 700 euros for binoculars which they don't use that often. So this is the reason why the Observer is made. So the housing itself, it's very similar to all other Steiner binoculars. The dimensions are completely the same with all other 10 by 42 binoculars made by Steiner. So roughly 15 centimeters of height and 14, a little bit less than 14 centimeters in width. Um, the housing is made out of Macrolon, uh, a special polycarbonate plastic which uh, Steiner is producing all their binoculars from it. It's proved and tested since Steiner really produces a lot of binoculars for the military and they use the same materi material. Uh, they also claim that uh, with the use of this material they are able to lower the costs of production and normally the end costs uh, to the end consumer so that people are getting better optics for uh, for a better price because we know that many competitors are now going towards uh, magnesium housings but that just increases the price and for majority of people it doesn't add any value or robustness since Steiners are really really robust and they're made out of macaron and then rubber coating on the outside uh, as you can see the lens cups what you get with them are very basic made out of uh, I would almost say hard plastic uh, and they cover this ring cover covers both eyepieces at the same time uh, you get a carrying strap which is not really something special uh, and you get a manual with a 10 years warranty and this is something where observer is in a in a class of its own compared to all the competitors since no one is offering 10 years warranty on a 329 euros uh, worth of binoculars uh, That's a big big plus for Steiner. You also get a carrying bag a really basic one and a cleaning cloth 
Uh, the weight of binoculars is roughly 700 grams and if I end with, a, with an external you can see that it has integrated lens covers on the objective side which is also something really rare on a 300 euros binoculars, entry-level binoculars. So the eyepieces they're made out of rubber and they have three different position, positions so use with glasses or without glasses is really very easy. Um, I would say that also the support is quite good so it will not, they will not unintentionally fall down um, and the eye relief on them is 16 millimeters not the best but still not really worse so you are able to use them with glasses without a problem so the focusing the focusing uh, at Steiner they say this is a fast close focus system uh, it rotates for approximately one and one quarter of a, of a turn and it's quite a fast focus so to be honest for hunting it's a little bit too fast uh, almost for birding it would be much better the magnification normally is 10 times and 42 millimeter objective lens this is standard um, as you know these binoculars are probably the most common 8x42s and 10x42s are really really common the prism type is Schmidt and Pehan so this is the reason why they are so compact and the eye box it's quite average it, they are comfortable to use I would say the field of view on this particular model is only 100 meters per 1000 meters not really that much uh, this is the main difference also compared to the Ranger Extreme series so I think I can do a summary now and I'll do it a little bit longer I'll go through the positives what I see it's really positive and then through the negatives or what could have been done better so first of all for a 300 euros binoculars you get a couple of features that no one else is offering first of all you're getting the 10 years warranty this is something what almost no one is offering on a 300 euros uh, binoculars. Second of all, they are made really robust because even though they are affordable, Steiner is known for producing robust, reliable uh, products which have a long lifetime. And this is again, even though this is a 300 euros binoculars, they build it in a way that you're able to use it for 10 years or more. Uh, second point is that they have a service in Germany where if something happens you can still send the binoculars to them and they will service it this is something what on, it's almost unseen in this price range uh, I also like the styling so the styling is typical Steiner but uh, for hunting binoculars they're really really nice and I like the integrated lens caps uh, so all in all a really robust product where things could have been done better even though this is a 300 euros um, binoculars field of view so 100 meters is it's not really a huge field of view I also think that the eye relief with 16 millimeters is not that bad but it could have been done better all in all when you compare them with the Ranger you also see more chromatic aberration in them so the coatings used and the lens materials used are different normally because those binoculars are at least two times um, more expensive. Uh, I also think that accessories, even though it's an entry level binoculars, could have been better. Especially the um, eyepiece cover, it's really made out of uh, hard plastic. Um, but all in all, I would say what also I think could have been done better for hunting, since this is a hunting uh, binoculars and Steiner really does separate birding, adventure, and hunting. So for a hunting binoculars, the focus could have been a little bit slower, but they use the same focusing mechanism as on their birding binoculars. At least I presume so, because the travel and the the, the way focusing works, it's uh, almost the same. It's not a big issue, but when you're using uh, the binoculars with which are really hunting intended with with slower focusing then you notice that uh, slower focusing is better for hunting it's not a big thing I think that majority of people will never notice it but still I think this could be have been improved so all in all I would say for a 300 euros you're maybe even able to get optically a better pair of binoculars from the competitors but when it comes to build quality warranty service and longevity of a product that's probably really really hard
So you're basically in front of a choice either to sacrifice just a little bit of field of view of uh, optical performance, which honestly speaking, a lot of people will never really notice and really get used to it, or gain build quality and longevity of a product. Because with 10 years warranty and with service in Germany, these binoculars can be used for 10, 15, even 20 years, even though they're really affordable and entry level. With some competitors, you maybe gain a little bit of field of view, you gain a little bit, if any, resolution advantage, but they will definitely not came, uh, come with a 10 years warranty. And 10 years from now, you will definitely not be able to use them anymore. So a tough choice, but I do understand Steiner's decision because they are known for rugged, reliable, long lasting products. And even the observer, their entry level, the most affordable binoculars for hunting, uh, they do, they do offer all of this, uh, all of these promises. Thank you for watching. Please check our other reviews. And if you have any additional questions, check our webpage or send us an email.